Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. Doing a soul family read. It's going to be for the 1st and 2nd of December. Cut myself a little slack, and then I'll come back at you with a weekend read. I think we'll pull through the deck with uh, all signs, uh, time stamped. Uh, take a short look with every sign um, for the soul family. And <clears throat> don't, I think the theme for me uh, right now is... Uh, uh, Theodore Rothke, a uh, poet, uh, one of his lines was my first, in the poem ended, I don't remember the name, with uh, my first joy is being, not doing. And I have been doy for a while, and isn't it funny <laughs> that the south node for me is in Sagittarius where all my energy is, but uh, Gemini is my 10th house. So here's the south node, and I've been tearing it up, basically kind of, kind of Saturn sky. And uh, my progressed sun now is clear 28. It's moving towards, uh, from Aquarius towards Pisces. And uh, here I am, like this morning, um, in a moment of uh, repose, let's say, <laughs> uh, and gratitude, um, just laying in bed and, and watching it rain. And I hear tropical rain falling for quite a while, and it's raining hard. It, it kind of stopped raining. I, I had to close up because you're doing work. We had an electric uh, uh, concrete mixer running, kind of handling next door. Not next door, but even though it's not that close, it's so loud. So I'm um, going to try to just do a four card read, kind of keeping this in mind. Um, maybe, you know, I do think that's part of the transition. A lot of what I'm kind of asking for now and want to manifest is uh, peace, you know, inner peace, you know, and peace of my life. You know, a lot of that I can manage by just not having any people in my life who are not peaceful <laughs> or don't bring peace to me, you know. All right, here we are. Five of Cups. Hmm. This is the Clint Dark deck. It's a little bit different, guys. This is us in the round spirituality manifestation where we're at right now. You know, it's uh, that card that in a normal deck, um, you know, you're not seeing people would say to you, uh, hey, you know, you're not seeing the opportunities because, you know, yeah, it's uh, water, it's love, it could say Venus, it's just where we desire. Talk about manifestation. So it's like emotionally speaking, um, feeling like we're not seeing, we're not connecting with what we really want emotionally uh, somehow, even though maybe it's right there. You know, because that's the uh, wrap, isn't it, with the Five of Cups? It's like, turn around, dude, there's like two cups right there. Maybe one of them be to your liking. Um, um, but, you know, what? a lot of times, for me, when we're in this energy, it's like we don't really take advice well. It's emotional. Um, we have to experience something, feel something here with the five of uh, cups. Well, we are. This would be us feeling it. Yes, I get it. Uh, um, I, I, you know, I, the the image I have that for myself uh, that's coming to mind. And I mean, right now, uh, here it is, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Saturday's a eclipse, new moon eclipse, okay? It's going to be the biggie. Um, and, you know, I feel like I'm kind of just sliding in to home plate, you know? And if I'm lucky, like, maybe just squeak through under the glove, huh? And get, get, get a run. <laughs> but I got to tell you, for me, it's like... Uh, it's been like a real challenge. Like I've taken everything. Taken everything. Let's see what we get to add to this with your advice to a wand. Advice from spirit. Yeah. Well, remember we have two cups remaining in the normal, you know, rider weight type of uh, deck here with the five of cups. And so it's that energy of we're kind of focusing on emotionally having i've said with manifestation if it was just as easy as you know i want wealth i want wealth everybody be wealthy <laughs> i want love everybody have great love um so you have to really feel it this has been my challenge is to really feel the health and the wealth and being grateful for what i have and feeling like i have enough which i do really 
and uh, grateful for my health, which is getting better, and it's really not that terrible when I look at what's happening to so many people, and but really having to feel that, and what's crossing us is we need to take some kind of action, but now you will look at this as a two of wands in reverse, because this is the crossing energy here, and our little four card read, now it's time to take a look at the bottom of the deck, the nine of cups. Well, that's quite a leap from the Nine of Cups to the Five of Cups. The Nine of Cups is talking about peace. I just want a peace. I mean, that is a personal peace. This is like, I have made my peace with myself. I'm comfortable with myself, emotionally whole, you know, um, that kind of thing. This is something that's bugging us particularly. And it has to do with making some kind of a choice. Or actually, this is from not making some kind of a choice. Let me put it that way. It's like maybe the choice here, I always say the two of wands, it's usually not A or B, it's more should I stay or should I go. So maybe the choice here that we're not making, because this is what's blocking us, is the choice to just turn around and see the two cups that are sitting there. Um, and I can relate to this too. It's I have, I'm at this stage where I have to manifest, I have to uh, mentally put myself there over and over. Uh, negative thoughts coming to my head at all kinds of things and I catch it though and I'm like you know negate that negate that it's like playing tennis and you want to be very good and you know it's less and less but you know lately it's been it's been interesting and I feel like when that happens it's not a bad thing that's how I feel like I'm processing things at a very deep cups emotional level here um and I'm kind of looking at this and I'm feeling like, you know, I'm still not quite ready to do what I think is being talked about there. And then what comes in is advice from spirit, the tower. What does the tower do? It comes when you say things like, I don't feel like I'm quite ready to do it. Boom. I'm going to get forced into doing it. That's what this is, guys. I'm going to get forced into doing this. And so the best way to look at it is uh, it's uh, for our own good. I mean, that's the only way to look at it. We're going to look at it from a spiritual perspective. And I, and I saw the tower in the weekend read, and it was amazing and positive. And remember, this is advice from spirit. I see this always as being positive, this, this card. The third card in this little four-card read is, a, is the, really the most important card to me and the truest card. So this is a tower that somehow is in our favor. You know, it's the, the other person was going to attack you, but uh, they suddenly get arrested and go to prison the rest of their lives or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, something is removed, eclipsed. You now we've got the eclipse coming on Saturday, days away. It's always really relevant. I'll get back to you Friday. And I think what I'm going to do is really focus with the personal as we go through. Uh, it'll be a longer read for me. And yeah, because I think this is this is kind of like the this is a biggie, <laughs> biggie now. And look, eclipse. Something's going to be eclipsed. What is it? Probably something emotional. Let's be real. I'm not going to lose the house. The house is going to burn down. I mean, if you're happily uh, mated, you're not going to lose your spouse. You're going to lose something emotional that probably has to go. Um, and to me too is a little bit with the five of cups. To me, it's I, I have this way. Of kind of looking at my horrible past and I'm a writer and I've written about so much and it's been the focus of my life I have all this fourth house energy it's like it's a fine scotch and I'm looking it's kind of golden and has little reddish hues and there's candlelight and I'm relaxed and eating ah the disaster that was my life it's like I kind of relish it I gotta be honest it's weird um, and that's free. I mean, that's what that is, how to let go. So it's something like that. It can be pretty subtle, but real. I mean, because what does that do for me when I'm trying to manifest something in the future? It's like literally telling the universe, well, I'm not done with this. Keep bringing it. Keep bringing it. Keep bringing the lessons, the dead ends, the soulmate uh, hit jobs and until um, we get this right. So it's something really to turn uh, my head around on, which... Definitely, that's been my work here. In the King of Wands, now I'm Sag, but this is fire energy. And if you are, this is all happening in Sag season, because i got to go there. Like, i got to feel like it's go time here. And more and more as this month goes on, there's a lot going on towards the solstice. I mean, not going to be all easy. This tower coming down, I mean, it could be a little uh, tricky. 
Say you're in prison and your friends blow the tower out, but now you have a concussion and your ears are bleeding and you can't hear and you're uh, in a mild state of shock, but yet you're free, you know? And this is like, we're gonna be free, like really free, really strong, able to stand up and able to speak out and say what we uh, think and feel. This is the King of Wands now. And this is the positive, the higher vibrational energy of that. So this is really getting strong, really being strong. I almost think energetically that something is eclipsed with this eclipse emotionally that has been holding them back. I told you what it is for me. Um, it's really gonna like, it's like our fire's gonna be lit, whoosh, and like the rocket engine's gonna whoosh, come to life finally, kick in. And you know, we're at this nine of, panic, nine of cups energy. This is good for the overall energy. Whether you're, it doesn't matter if you're a bachelor or not, um, you're emotionally fulfilled and whole. So we're gonna get a handle on this. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys. Let me know what you think of that. I do appreciate comments. Try to um, um, comment back. And uh, I'd love to hear how this is affecting your life too. I'm assuming here, like Terrence McKenna said, find the others. If there are other people, perhaps you have Sagittarius placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, who are sharing a similar um, adventures and soul with me right now. So thank you guys.